test, test one, two. Yes. <laughs> God damn. Okay, so the mute's the mute's interesting. <laughs> this microphone in front of me is the Rockat Torch, and it's a dual condenser microphone with 24-bit audio and 48 hertz sampling. It means it's pretty good. The mic is attached to a little mixer style control panel that allows you to adjust gain, the volume of your PC, and switch between three different pickup patterns. You can also plug your headphones in the back to monitor the microphone, or just to use as headphones for your computer. The whole unit runs off this single USB-A cable. It's driver free and proprietary software free, so it's pretty much plug and play to set up. That is always a plus on tools like this. The microphone actually plugs into the mixer separately via this short USB-C cable on the back here, but you can take the microphone off and put it on stuff like boom arms. And for that, they also give you a two meter long second USB-C cable. <laughs> this is probably my favorite feature though. I feel like a wizard. So that was contactless muting in action. Basically there's an infrared sensor in the top here and that can tell if something's passing over it. So you can do this. The range here is about 10 centimeters away on the max setting. So it's pretty hard to set it off accidentally, thankfully. Uh, you can also turn that range down or off with this switch on the back. Don't get me wrong, it's a fun feature to play with, um, but ultimately it's a bit of a novelty. I feel like physical buttons are just so much more reliable and give you tangible feedback when you press them, so you're not having to double check that your uh, hand waving actually worked. Thankfully, it does have a clicky mute button here as well. So look, you can totally ignore the uh, hand waving if you don't want to feel like a wizard. Let's talk about this mixer panel actually, because it's a really decent value add for this product. Some USB mics will come with external physical controls, but they're almost always attached to the body of the mic. So if you touch them, you end up bumping the mic and making noise. That's not always ideal, especially in live situations. This gives you all the basic controls you need for the microphone, but they're positioned away from the body. First, you've got this physical gain slider, which uh, adjust how much volume the microphone is picking up. Um, and coolest of all, you can see these little LED bars go up and down as you control the physical gain slider. I love that. That is so cool. You've got this volume knob, which directly controls the volume of your PC. Uh, so if you've got headphones coming through here, it'll adjust those as well. Um, and there's also that physical mute button we were talking about before. This third knob is probably the most interesting. It allows you to switch the entire unit off, but it also allows you to switch between one of three different pickup patterns. Uh, those are stereo. Um, stereo is said to increase definition and depth and is best used for uh, group settings or um, stuff like music. Should I, should, I, should I give some music a crack, see what it sounds like? Um... Take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can no more. Take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can no more. Let's never speak of that again. Next up, we've got Cardioid, uh, which is basically what I've been using throughout this entire review. It's your typical microphone up against the face type deal. It's good for good for pretty much everything, video games, streaming, podcasts, uh, even video calls. You wanna go with Cardioid. Um, and then third is a Rock Hat's exclusive whisper mode, which is basically just Cardioid with the gain turned up. So whisper mode is pretty much reserved for, you know, whispering. So stuff like ASMR channels or perhaps everyone else in your house is asleep and you don't want to wake them up while you're recording. It does a really good job of picking up your voice, even though you're not talking that loud. Just remember not to talk this loud when you've got the whisper mode on. That would be ridiculous. I'd say um, I'll switch back to cardioid because I think 90% of the time you'll just want to be using cardioid anyway. The other two modes are useful for fringe cases, but yeah, cardioid's the main one. But hey, it's nice to have this little switch here. It's good for options. You may have noticed when you do switch between them, the LEDs on the mic will change colors, indicating what you're doing at a glance. So long as you remember what the colors correspond to. Combine that with the bright red mute lighting and the gain lights going up and down, and you've got all of these little light cues that help communicate what this microphone is actually set to. I think it's a really clever design and especially useful for streamers who need all of that information as quick as possible while they're live. 
The mic itself is mounted directly to the mixer upright, but can be tilted back to about 45 degrees and anywhere in between. That angle pretty much covers you for all the use cases that you'd want if you've just got this sitting on a desk, but you can also just straight up remove the mic and put it on a boom arm or anything with a 3 8 thread. I'll go get a boom arm, I'll show you now. Is that good? Here it is. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like on a boom arm. You might notice there is uh, this big ugly mixer like thing just sitting on my desk now. Um, and it's even got this screw exposed and there's no really decent way to hide that. So you could like, no, you can't even tilt it down. So you kind of, you kind of left with this, this ugly mixer on your desk if you do decide to go into boom arm mode. Actually, yeah, let's get to it now. Um, this entire product, it's not pretty. The mixer is comprised mostly of cheap toy-like plastic and just is not that appealing to look at. At least I don't think so. The materials of the mic are a bit better feeling, but the LEDs and giant glowing Rock Hat logo on the front, it's just all a bit much for my tastes. Maybe if you had a desk full of Rock Hat's other peripherals like their keyboards and stuff, you could maybe get away with it because they all look a little bit like this. But in most setups, this is just so over the top, it's massively gonna stand out. But if you don't care about that stuff, especially if your microphone isn't actually appearing on camera, maybe it doesn't matter. All that matters to you would be the sound quality. And yeah, the sound quality out of this is actually pretty decent. I've recorded this entire video on the Rockout Torch in cardioid mode with no post-processing. So you might already have a decent idea of whether you like the sound coming out of this or not. But yeah, like I said, I, anytime I've listened to it back, I've, I've thought it's been pretty decent. It doesn't really hold a torch to the uh, AT2020, which is my go-to USB mic these days, but it is close enough that if you really want those mixing controls, it might be worth the trade-off. It's a USB mic, so you're not gonna be making professional studio quality stuff with this, but for you know video game streamers, casual podcasts, internet video content creators, this thing works really well, has a really decent control panel, and yeah, it's plug and play. You don't have to download any extra, it just works out of the box. So, should you buy the Rock Hat Torch? <laughs> Look, uh, personally, I would never buy this, but that is purely because of aesthetic reasons. What it actually sets out to do, it totally nails. Like I said, the microphone would be great for any streamers, content creators, uh, maybe even some lo-fi music production, and the mixer style panel gives you enough physical onboard controls and visual feedback to really help you with that creation process. At 150 Aussie dollars, you're getting a pretty sweet package here, and it's likely one that'll keep you happy for quite a while. Who knows, maybe uh, whatever this style is uh, will actually come back in fashion one day, and you can call yourself an early adopter. <laughs> Till I can know